It started somewhere, where nothing happens. It happened to someone, no one cared about. And it was about to start something, much, much bigger. But this isn't that story. This is the story of how Mary and Alistair Stewart were murdered. Mary, I'm home! <sighs> this is Alistair and his wife, Mary. They get along very well. Are you serious with this dinner? Well, since the dog was around more, I gave the rest of the dinner to him. Yeah, okay. Not really. She always picked up his messes. Even the big ones. It seems with the time that you saved on this dinner, you could have uh, worked on your get-up. Mm-hmm. And what about that hat? Are you wearing that to bed again tonight? Now I also got this hat from a coworker who got it from his paperboy, who got it from his doctor, who got it from the janitor, who got it from us from the garbage man, who found it in the trash. Now it was found in the trash by a millionaire who got it from an historic site, and it was left there by a shaman. Now the shaman said that it was blessed to keep souls on the earth. But Alistair just thought it looked good on him. Better company than you. Well, speaking of better company, I've invited Giovanna over. An Italian? Yes. <sighs> Did you even wash this apple? No, but the sink is right over there, darling. You know how many insults I got today because of my unironed shirt? Seven. You dress yourself. But you do the laundry. That pepper tasted like trash. Now Mary was a very beautiful woman, and despite all their differences, Alistair loved her dearly. Now the police say that four shots were shot into Mary's chest. She had no chance of survival. Some messes are just too big to be picked up. This was Mary's so-called friend, Giovanna. Now, I'm not sure if that was her real name. My name is Alistair Stewart, and that's how I became the Hat Detective. Mama! Mama!